You know, I think their mentality is one of the best that I've been around um, in many years. So I, I think, you know, the sky's the limit in, in many regards. I think we're obviously, you've probably talked to some of the athletes, we're young, we're very young, specifically in the infield. And so I, I just, um, I think we have the mentality to match up that we may take a couple lumps early because we've got a really challenging schedule out of the gate. Um, but I think the mentality is, hey, let's continue to compete and get better. And, I, you know, they could surprise us and we may not take lumps either. I think there's some good talent in the mix. And um, But I think obviously when you're that young in the infield, you've got to really kind of get into, you know, into a groove and really test the cohesion, cohesion of the unit. So um, we'll be tested there, I think. But, um, I, you know, I think there's a a good mixture of veterans and, and newcomers, and we've got a couple of really special newcomers in the mix. You guys were five arms last year, and you guys have six this year. Right. How is that going to help your team, or what do you expect from that pitching staff? Well, I think that's going to unfold as the season goes on. I think they're, you know, it is nice to have six, and then uh, Paige Von Sprecken is doing a lot of things for us. You'll see her at first base. Right now she's one of our top hitters, so she needs to be in the lineup whether she's in the circle or not. Um, working at first, working in the outfield. Uh, Kristen Clark is also swinging about. I just wanted to kind of expand her role and have her help us um, have some success in, in other ways um, this year. But she's doing a really nice job in the circle and she's just got a great mentality. And, um, you know, she's been a closer um, for the most of her career, but you may see her as a starter this year. I think she's doing some things very well. But I think more than anything, it just needs to evolve and kind of let some roles unfold a little bit and you know we just met as a uh, uh, with the, with the entire battery with the catchers in the mix and you'll you know have a chance where you'll see them all this weekend and um, you know get some looks I think right now our youngsters Chloe and Ari um, Chloe's doing some amazing things right now and Ari's really working through some mechanical things so uh, but you know we do have them slated that if we get opportunities we're going to see them all this weekend and Ari you know may come out of the bullpen if, if the timing is right just to get some work in but um, it just has to evolve they have to get work and game time under their belt so you'll see all six of them working early in the season. Depth is obviously nice but do you need and do you think you have someone that could emerge Kind of as, a, as an ace for your staff. I do. I think, um, you know, you guys, you've seen Erica ride over the last couple of years. I mean, coming back from the injury, you know, that's always a challenge. I don't think her velocity is where it um, was pre-injury yet. But, you know, I think she's stronger. I think, you know, she's um, had a good off season and she's really developing um, some off-speed stuff that I think is going to give her a little different look with the opponents and something they haven't seen from her before. And then bottom line, you can never, you can't match her competitiveness. So I think, um, you know, she certainly wants the ball in the biggest scenarios when the game is on the line. But, um, you know, I, I think our staff is solid. I think Paige is going to be a great athlete in the circle. I think you, you, you can't talk about the pitching staff without talking about our lefty, Brooke Bollinger, who, um, you know, started in January last year and didn't get an off season. Um, to work um, through some things and she's ready to go. So I think the depth of our pitching staff is going to be um, one of our strengths. I think it's just a matter of time to figure out, you know, who, who are your maybe top three starters and then who's best out of the bullpen. And that's just going to take us some time. You mentioned the newcomers uh, on this team. Uh, what can we expect out of the freshman class? Are there any bright spots you've seen early in practice? Yeah, I think we're, you're going to have a, a large contingent of freshmen contributing right away. I think the, you know, we talked about Chloe a little bit um, in the circle, but the two that stand out that will start in the infield for us, Janae Jefferson will start at uh, second base. She can also play shortstop as well, but she'll start at second. I think she's a, she's a special player. She's going to hit in the leadoff spot for us as well. So we're starting her in the infield and putting her in the leadoff spot, so we're asking her to do a lot. Um, but she's a very, very special player and one to watch this year. And then the other freshman in the infield will be uh, Mary Catherine Tedder, MK Tedder. And, um, you know, she came to us, she was a middle infielder coming out of high school and club ball, but I think, um, you know, matches up best to be at a corner for us and um, has really settled into the third base role and swings a, a really nice bat. I mean, obviously she's going to have to rise to the occasion with a higher level of pitching 
but a significant amount of power. And both of them just have great heads for the game, you know, pretty big picture and, um, you know, don't get too consumed with their one position, you know, pretty, pretty good about um, kind of reading the things around them. So those two really, I think, are going to do some things that fire some people up, fire our fans up. How's uh, Reagan Hathaway doing? She's getting there. Reagan Hathaway is, you know, definitely one of our top six hitters, and I wish I could start her every game this weekend, but she's not quite. It's a confidence thing. I mean, she's fully released. She's ready to go. She's doing great things with her live at-bats and practice. Um, our top priority is to get um, quality at-bats from her this weekend, so we potentially will do that in uh, pinch hitting roles or maybe a DP role. I don't think you'll see her on defense this weekend. That's kind of the third you know, piece of the puzzle that will let unfold over the next couple of weeks. But she's coming along really well, and her at-bats and practice make you real excited about having her back and, uh, and ready to really help us this year.